All right. And folks, it's not just Jeeps that are driving through Toledo. Business is also driving up ha, throughout the city as well. Our Trent Croce was out and about in downtown earlier today. He's now here live in studio. He did speak with organizers about the economic impacts of Jeep Fest. Trent, what can you tell us? Well, Tatiana, they say it's just a Jeep thing, and Jeep Fest can also mean business. Since Toledo is where Jeeps are built, the city breathes and embodies the Jeep. Event organizers told me this festival brings in much more than the favorite four-letter word, and those four wheels for some Toledoans. We didn't really know what to do, a parade, a picnic, so we said, let's make a little festival. So, out of a band of uh, unsavvy uh, creators, came up with the idea of a Jeep Fest, and we said, where to put it? Let's put it in downtown Toledo. Pete Gherkin and his Jeep plant co-workers little festival idea back in 2016 for Jeep's 75th anniversary has truly made a big impact for downtown. Well, I think we uh, figured last year the economic impact for the one weekend was about six and a half million dollars in one weekend. That's not a bad shot uh, for to celebrate our own local party. Those numbers would not have shot up without outside sponsorship, says another Jeep Fest founder, Jerry Huber. It's about Jeep, but it's also about the, the, the people that contribute and have built Jeeps over the years. Not just the, you know, the, the, the people at the plant, but uh, the people in the community that support in so many other ways. This year, a partnership with Middle Ground Metro Park created a base camp for the first time. Organizers have also been able to do new things like include the Imagination Station and place vendors along Summit Street. Plus, the timing and placement couldn't be more perfect for the new Hilton Hotel, which is experiencing its first Jeep Fest too. We have a brand new hotel that just opened up a couple of months ago and it looks like, and I walked by there a couple of times, looks like the restaurants and bars are full. So, Hooper says Jeep Fest first timers usually don't make it their last. And we left such a positive impression that they said, hey, this is cool, we want to come back there. And Gherkin says the event is all about the moving parts. So you have now a renovated convention center, you have all the new amenities downtown, you had concerts last night, so it's, it, it's about all of Toledo now. Herbert says there were nearly 1,200 Jeeps in this morning's parade, and he's not even counting the showcase Jeeps or the vendor's Jeeps. Tomorrow is the Fest four-mile run, which will make its way through the city on its last day. Live in the studio, Trent Croce, WTOL 11.